So this is going to be a tutorial to show you how I went from this. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. To this. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. So you can see on my screen right now, this is just a recording. Uh, I was out the Oaks Trail. So this is just the audio that you're looking at. And so it's a time trace, but what we can also see on the screen are frequencies. So down here is, would be zero hertz, and up the top probably around about 20, 20 kilohertz, so 20,000 hertz. And so conveniently, most cicada noise is just out of like the speech intelligibility range. And so a lot of speech happens, like trying to understand what you're saying, it happens at around one to four kilohertz. So one, so 1,000 hertz to four kilohertz. And so if you pulled out all those frequencies, it, it, it would just sound like this, right? It would sound like I was speaking in a room, so you wouldn't be able to hear me very well. So it wouldn't sound any good. But uh, cicada noise is above that. So we have an opportunity to strip out the frequencies where cicada noise is. And so we, we, we lose a little bit, but we don't lose too much in terms of uh, what we're saying and, and not a whole lot of pretty like, important information. So if I just draw a little line right here, you can see this is where most of the cicada noise is. Okay, so that orange indicates uh, it's, it's louder. So purpley, pinky, quieter, orange, louder. And so you can see right here, it's in around four and a half, seven K. Uh, there's probably some more harmonics up here, but this is where most of the noise is, around the four to seven K mark. Okay, so I've just opened up my video editor and I use DaVinci Resolve and seriously, if you're a YouTuber and you're not using DaVinci Resolve, I don't know what the hell you're using because I couldn't imagine a better uh, free video editor software package. And so it's got a bunch of tabs down here, so I've gone to the audio tab and so what I've got here are just uh, two videos, they're exactly the same and it's just a short little clip of uh, a recent video that I made which is on the Oaks Fire Trail. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some EQ on one of them and then we're going to AB to see the differences. So if I come over here to the mixer tab, you see I've got EQ right here. So if I double click that and open it up, I'm just going to chuck on some headphones so I can hear what's going on. Okay, so the clip without any EQ, just raw, sounds like this. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. So pretty bad, right? Um, you can hear the audio, but what's really overpowering is that cicada noise. And like I said, the cicada noise uh, sitting at around the four and a half to seven K right here. So if we can knock out that, we're going to go a long way to removing most of the like unpleasant noise about it. So I've opened up the equalizer on the audio one. And right here, this is pretty much set up, ready to go. So it's a parametric EQ, so I can just grab this and yank it right down. So this is with EQ. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. So we've already gone a long way to fixing the problem, but I think because this is such a tight block of frequencies, that um, instead of this kind of triangular cone shape, if we grab another one of these, so if I bring this along, we can really just block out um, the frequencies a lot better. So like I said, it's around about the four to seven K. That's, uh, that's looking pretty good to me. And so I'm gonna check it again. So this is gonna be uh, with the EQ and then the next one will be without. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. So there you can go. You can see it's absolute night and day difference between them. And if you listen really closely to my voice, it doesn't sound too different. So let's just do it again. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. Change conditions, black root. Very difficult. Black. So there you go. So pretty simple to do. Uh, you can do it whenever you hear cicadas, you can go, okay, easy. I just got to turn on some EQ and I can get rid of that. And you're not going to really lose too much. 
So that's it, just a really quick video. If you found it useful, I guess you're also a YouTuber as well, so you know what to do. Give us a like, drop a comment. Uh, let me know if you're gonna use it in your next video. So if you're new to the channel and you liked it, then subscribe, well, what do you got to lose? All right, that's it, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.